What's up guys, show off 3.4 here, bringing you another Ram install. Right now I'm just at KFC, getting my dinner, and I'm gonna head over to Ryan's, and we're gonna do a quick little, actually it's not an install, it's a delete, actually, and uh, I'll explain it later when I get there, but yeah, I'm at KFC right now, and then I'm heading over to Ryan's. It should only take like 10 minutes, so we're gonna see how it goes. Thank you, dude. guys so basically what we're doing today is I'm doing clutch fan delete on this truck because the truck has e fans and a clutch fan and the clutch fan takes up damn near half of the whole entire engine bay so we're gonna get rid of that one so we have more room two it's just less drag I know it's not that much it, it won't be noticeable but um, and basically something's happening in the truck this weekend that will take care of the issue of overheating if it would ever overheat I'll explain it all later but we're gonna do the clutch fan delete because I don't need it. There's no point for it. And it's really easy to do, so I figured why the heck not. So like I was saying, there's the motor, and there's the fan. It takes up a whole heck of a lot that you don't need. <laughs> so we're gonna be getting rid of that. Okay, so this is a really easy, I keep wanting to say install, it's not an install, it's literally a delete. But, yeah, it's not even a mod. So the first thing basically is first, you come under the truck, See if I can get some light for you. Come under the truck. Here's the shroud right here. There's three clips. This one, one right there, one over here. You literally just pull these down. This one's got lines in the way. Oh, there we go. All right, now this, this shroud is actually Pretty loose, but we're gonna we're gonna loosen up the fan first, and then the shroud. There's a bolt up there that holds the two shrouds together, which I'll show you. This bolt. Oh, maybe it doesn't hold them together. Maybe it's because of the fan. We're gonna loosen the fan first, real quick, and then we'll uh, keep going. Short people problems. Turn Can you grab onto the nut? Yeah. Oh yeah, there it goes. It's this one and that one that holds the shroud in. This fan is really Don't take it off all the way yet either. I'm gonna pull that in the Are you letting your tranny line bleak so it's for you under clothing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got me. That was my idea. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. That part came right off. And then... Keep her spinning. Yep. Spinning it. This stupid nut. It just, I don't, the guy that in the video did it, he could spin the fan with it. It barely spins though, like... There, maybe, oh, maybe the more it gets loose, the more it'll... It's, the threads are just sticky, just sticky enough to... There it goes. <laughs> Cool. Oh, there it goes. I got tools for that. <laughs> All right, now. Two yeah, just, just a third. I'll just be able to get. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's a floppy one. So yeah, those are those are just Christmas tree right in there, and those can come right out. And then we just gotta get a 13 millimeter, and take those out, and the pouch should come right out. All right, got both bolts out. The shroud's ready to come out. We just gotta take this um, take this plug out because it is attached to the shroud. You wanna attempt to yank this out? I'm gonna try. Hold on, I move my cooler. <laughs> Short people problems. Shouldn't be anything holding it back. Oh, I forgot. Just ah, kidding. This hot. has to come out. 
Oh, I was gonna say I, I forgot those tabs gotta come up. There we go. It like pulls out and up. Or up and out, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Come on this. There's a tab right here. Forgot I forgot about this. You gotta push that back and then this will lift up and then you get them out. That should be it. There you go. Sweet. Oh my room for days. <laughs> Real estate in there now. Holy cow. Now you might be able to keep just this. I didn't realize your E fan was that big. It's it's big. Look at how much more room there is. You could put a, oh. you could hang a turbo right there now. <laughs> nice old pro charger. Yeah, I wonder what we should do with this. Zip tie it. So yeah, this. You think you'll notice the difference? I don't know, probably not. Probably not. I just I didn't I wanted to get rid of it because it was just so so, 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 so much room taken up. People say, people say that it adds like half mile to the gallon. You'll never see it. And it revs a little more free, but I doubt. I don't. I, I didn't do it for that because it's such a small difference. I kind of want to go run it though to see if it ever even gets close to 200. Yeah. And then I want to see if this fan turns on. Well, we gotta zip tie this off. True. I'll flip this off. Okay, so I forgot to bring the camera the first time we went out, but this is what factory temp looks like. I have a one in, I have a 180 degree thermostat, so usually it sits about right above that second needle, and I think 210 is just over that needle. Idling, it does go all the way up to 210, even though my coolant's been running for the whole time. It does go all the way up to 210, but the e-fan just turned on. Um, so, I mean, that's what you can see it's idling at. Like I said, I didn't actually tell you, I'm getting it tuned this week, this weekend. The whole truck, I'm getting the whole truck tuned, transmission tuned, custom ECU tuned. Just, it's stock, I didn't put anything in it, but he's, uh, I've been talking to a guy for a while, he said he can pull about 30 to 40 horse out of it, full custom trans tune, can tune it for 89, turn my E-fans on earlier, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So, definitely getting it tuned because I've been wanting to put some more power into the truck and I just figured this would be a good thing to do because once I tune it with him, it's pretty much free unless I do big power upgrades to tune it again and again. So this would be a good thing to have and to do and I'm just excited. The truck's gonna feel like a totally different truck and I'm excited for it, but that's what we're doing this weekend. So that's why today is Tuesday and I figured, okay, it's November and it's pretty much, it's cold enough that I can just take my clutch fan out and run it for five days and be fine. And obviously I'm not overheating because I'm overheating to factory temp because I have a 180 degree thermostat. So everything's fine, obviously, but uh, yeah, so that's done. Like I said, real easy. And now we're just gonna head to Justin's. Well, like I said, we're at Justin's. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Justin's truck with his wheels on it, but that's what it looks like. And gotta grab the essentials. It's been a while since you've been on the video. I got nothing I mean, there's still a lot more cooler stuff in here than I got, so that's all right. All right, guys, so there you have it. Um, the clutch fan delete was a pretty good success. Pretty easy, really easy to do. Um, and if you have any questions, just comment on the video down below. Uh, another thing people do do too is our Hemi electric fan, because we also have a clutch fan, it's small, like it's smaller than a V6 fan. The V6 trucks don't have clutch fan, they just have a E fan, that's it. So the V6 fans are actually bigger than the Hemi E fans, and they are actually a direct bolt up. So if you ever wanted to, like if you ever were having cooling issues and like making a bunch of power, you can do this whole thing and then swap out the Hemi fan for a V6 fan, and they actually are bigger and do. Um, they just bolt right up, plug right in. So that's another option, but I don't have to do that right now because I'm, I don't have cooling issues. Anyway, I hope you guys find this helpful. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next vlog.